Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a powerful typographic portrait poster of someone from a photo. Open a photo of someone you'd like to use for this project. The result will look best when your subject is facing directly into the camera. The photo can be color or black and white. If it's in color, desaturate it by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. We'll make a selection around the subject to separate it from its background. The method you choose to make the selection should depend on the characteristics of your photo. For this example, I'll use the Quick Selection tool. If you're using this tool as well, its size should depend on the size and resolution of your document. You can either drag the tool inside or outside the subject. For this example, I'll select the outside. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Click the Refine Edge button or go to Select and Refine Edge. I did an in-depth tutorial on Refine Edge and I provided its link in the video's description. We're going to brush around the hair. To resize your brush, you can use the slider. Check Smart Radius and increase the radius a little bit. Drag around the hair and output it as a new layer with Layer Mask. Then click OK. The hair doesn't have to be perfect. We'll take care of the edges in a minute. Make a new document by pressing Ctrl or Command N. Let's name it Poster. Change the pixels to inches and make its width and height whatever you'd like. I'll make my poster's height 16 inches and its width 12 inches. Make its resolution 300 pixels per inch if you're ultimately going to print your poster. We'll make the background color black. If you're not working on a recent version of Photoshop, I'll show you how to make it black in a minute. If you are working on a recent version, open your background contents. Choose Other and pick Black. Then click OK on both windows. If you're working on an earlier version, Click OK on the New Document window and press D to make your foreground and background colors black and white respectively. Since your foreground color is black, press and hold Alt or Option plus Delete to fill your background with black. To fit it on your canvas, press Ctrl or Command Zero. Open the Face document and drag the image up onto the Portrait tab. Without releasing your mouse or pen, press and hold Shift as you drag it down onto the background and release. Pressing Shift kept it centered on your background. To resize it, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it out or in. To reposition it, go inside the transform and drag it. Continue until the face is centered and fills the document. Then press Enter or Return. To adjust the brightness and contrast of the face, open your Levels window by pressing Ctrl or Command L. Adjust the input levels until the shadows of the face are pure black and the lightest parts are bright enough. Then click OK. Next, we'll blend in the edges of the hair with the background. Click the layer mask to make it active and open your brush tool. Open your brush picker. We'll take care of the brush size in a moment. Make the hardness 0% and the opacity and flow 100%. To make your brush larger or smaller, press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Brush over areas of your subject that you'd like to blend in better. Doing this reveals more of the black background through the layer mask. 
We're going to ultimately place our text on the side of the face that's brighter, which in this case is the left side. If the light on your subject is evenly distributed, you can place your text on either side. Go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. If they aren't, just click on them. Go to the ruler on the left and drag out a guideline to the center of your document. It'll snap in place because we have Snap checked. If you don't see the guideline, press Ctrl or Command H. Open your rectangular marquee tool and go to the top corner of the side of the face that has less shadows. Drag a selection over half of the document, making sure it snaps to the center guideline. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. In this empty layer, we'll fill the selection with black. Assuming your foreground color is black, press Alt or Option plus Delete. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. To hide the guideline, press Ctrl or Command H. We're ready to add text. Open your horizontal type tool. Open your list of fonts and choose a sans serif heavy font. I'm using American Captain Regular. If you'd like to use this font, I provided its link in the video's description or project files. Make its size between 50 to 100 points and sharp. If the text will be on the left side of your poster, click the Align Right icon. If your text will be on the right side of your poster, click the Align Left icon. Click the color box and pick White. Place your cursor near the top middle of your document and type out your first two lines of text. To adjust the space between lines, also known as leading, go to Window and Character. The Character panel will open. Highlight your text and drag the leading slider to the left or right. Keep the space tight between the lines. Click next to the last character of your second line and continue to type out the rest of your text. Open your Move tool and go to View and click Snap to deactivate it. Drag your block of text so it's almost touching the edge of the black background. To resize it, open your Transform tool and go to the outside bottom corner and press and hold Shift as you drag it out. Then press Enter or Return. Control click or command click on the large T of your text layer to make a selection of your text's shape. Click on the eyeball next to the layer to hide the text. Make the black shape active and press the delete key on your keyboard to delete the area inside the selection. Then deselect it. If there are areas of the portrait that are a bit hard to read, I'll show you how to make the words more legible. Make the face active and open your dodge tool. Open the Dodge Picker. We'll take care of the size in a moment. Make its hardness 0%, the exposure 100%, and make sure Protect Tones is checked. Make the range Shadows, and adjust the size of your tool. Now, brush over the areas you want to brighten. This time, make the range Midtones, and brush over the same areas. Open your brush tool and reduce its opacity to 10%. Repeat brushing over those words. Continue to use the dodge and brush tools until those words are easier to read. Next, we'll add a thin border set in from the edge of the poster. Make layer 1 active and click the new layer icon to make a new layer above it. Fill it with any color. I'll fill it with a foreground color, which is white. Reduce the fill's opacity to 0%. This makes whatever is filling the layer invisible, 
but any effects that we add to it will remain visible. Double click on the layer to open its layer style window. Click Inner Glow. Change its blend mode to normal, the opacity 40%, and the choke 100%. I'll make the size 70 pixels, however, you may want to adjust this amount depending on the size and resolution of your poster. Click Stroke and make the size between 2 to 4 pixels less than the amount you used for Inner Glow. Make the position inside and change the blend mode to lighten. Then click OK. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.